Joey, I know that someone who would definitely love this time of year and playoff hockey would be Bobby Plager, as we know it is celebration of life today. And I know that you were able to stop by and just getting to know Bobby yourself. Everybody seems to have a story with Bobby. If you could just share a story about him and what he meant to you and just the Blues organization. Extremely well done today for the St. Louis Blues, uh, the whole Blue Note crew and led by Trevor Nickerson. I mean, Mike Caruso, Chris Kerber, who led, led the kind of charge, Tom Stillman, Chris Zimmerman. I mean, the whole, the whole organization uh, did so well by this and the way they handled it and the way they made it such a wonderful, beautiful ceremony. You know, go back to the story of Bobby that really sums him up for me personally. It was game, let's see, it was game five in Boston during the Stanley Cup final where the Blues allowed all the employees to go fly up to Boston, uh, direct flight, private jet, and you can watch the game. Chris Kerber and I obviously broke. We we were calling the game, so we didn't need that. So they said, well, if you guys are already going up there, how about you invite one of your family members or your wife, your significant other? My wife was home with the kids, so I invite my dad. My dad doesn't know anything about hockey, okay? So I'm texting him throughout the day. They leave in the morning. Hey, Dad, how you doing? Hey, Joe, doing good. I got a good guy here. He's talking to me the whole way. He's going to lead me through Boston. We'll be good to go. Have a great game tonight. Hey, Dad, you're on the way to the game? Yeah, I'm here with a guy named Bob. He's a sweet guy. We're sitting down having a burger across from the rink at the TV Garden. Terrific. Well, we'll see you tonight. Good luck. He keeps talking about this guy named Bob the whole night, Brooke. And finally, after the game, I square up with him. The Blues, of course, win that game. All the momentum going back to St. Louis. We're all excited. I go, hey, Dad, how's it going? Good game. He goes, yeah, yeah. And sure enough, hey, Joe, have you met Bob? Hey, Bob, come here. That's who I've been hanging out with today. It's Bob Plager. My, my dad... That is Bob Plager. His number's retired. I start going through, like, the legacy of Bob Plager. And my dad's like, oh, I'll be son of a gun. I had no idea. He was just the nicest guy. We talked about farming. We talked about concrete. We talked about everything but hockey. But to me, that's why Bob was so special, because the humility of him. He's done the most amazing things for this organization. He's played in the National Hockey League. He has every reason. He had every reason to just pump his chest and be so prideful and just kind of live up on this pedestal, but he didn't. He humbled himself so low, and he was always able just to connect with people on such a humble, humble level, which was so amazing to me. And I think that's the thing I take away most uh, from Bobby was his ability to just really relate to people in such a special way where he never felt like he was better than anyone else. It was awesome. Yeah, I just love that story. And everybody just has so many stories about him. And I know that he has a great spot up in heaven watching the game. And I know he's going to be cheering on the Blues. What do you think, Joey? Absolutely. I tell you what, I mean, this this is a season that has been full of ups and downs. And, of course, this was an extra extra dagger for a lot of Blues fans and the whole community out there. And I know that this Blues team is, is ready to rally for him and what he represented. And you really need to look no further than what he did for that Blue Crescent. I think mean, he really embodied what St. Louis Blues hockey is all about. That tough, rugged, put it all out on the ice. Don't cheat the fans. Don't cheat your teammates. Go out there. Put your heart and soul and every ounce of sweat into the game. And if the Blues can do that, Brooke, they're going to be just fine.